arrived to Oshiyage Station. This is the closest station to Tokyo Skytree by Tokyo Metro. By the way, whenever you want to walk in Japan, you always go left. In most of the street, you need to walk left side. Oh, look at that. That's an information board. It explains how to get to Tokyo Skytree. <laughs> look at it. It's a panda? I'm not sure. But that's cute though. Anyway, this way, so let's go. The yakiniku restaurant that I'm heading to is Jojoen. It's in the Tokyo Sky Tree. So, firstly, we need to go to the Tokyo Sky Tree. The Tokyo Sky Tree, it was like a ghost town before. It. But uh, as you can see, already many travelers are coming back to the town. The restaurant we are heading to is in the 30th floor. Those are the restaurant floor, 30s and the 31st floor, many fancy restaurants. <laughs> well, Jojo and this is the only one that I have been before. Lunchtime. It was pretty good. I guess maybe I should try different restaurant too in the future. Right now, Tokyo Skytree having collab with Jojo. Before, they had the collab with Kimetsu no Yaiba. As you can see, Tenbo Kairo, Tokubetsu Tenchi. So there is an exhibition of Jojo's and also big screen. I think that's a movie or something. The original items and also Crab Cafe. Hmm. If you love Jojo's, definitely it'll be fun. Seems like it continues until August. If we have opportunity, we will be there. If you want to see inside, please let me know in the comment down below. Speaking of the weather in Japan, today it's 34 degrees. Yes, it's still end of June, but feels like already summer has came. As I talk about it on my Twitter account, usual year, end of June, it's rainy season, you. However, this year, it's already gone. So from now, more sunny days. I can't be happier. Here, Japan travel tip. This place having a one coin bus. Actually, many places have one coin bus. So if you don't mind to use bus, definitely bus could be the cheap option for the transportation. By the way, restaurant we are heading to is over there. Yeah, <laughs> it's in the super high place. Seems like it's closer to the observatory deck. We need to use the escalator in the middle, so let's go. Oh, look at those fruit sandwiches. Looking pretty good. There are so many stores in the first floor. So definitely you can enjoy that. So many different kinds of rice cracker. Shrimp, spicy curry, and also wasabi soy sauce. Wasabi soy sauce must be really good. Oh, look at this ramen restaurant. Looking pretty good. Oh, especially this one. Beef tendon spicy hot soup noodle. Must be good. <laughs> and my favorite, tantame. By the way, this standard noodle in Japanese, we call it tantame. Tantame. I always confuse. We are out now. Wait, where is the escalator? Oh, it must be there. By the way. What a beautiful day. Loving it. Actually, I just been there once, so I totally forgot how to get there. Uh, let's see. Is this the way? It's the Tokyo Sky Tree entrance. Hmm. Hopefully, this is the way. Ah, uh, maybe not. Because it says ticket counter. Anyway, let's go. Tokyo Sky Tree. It's really beautiful place. If you want to check inside, I have made a video, so please check that. Oh, that's cool. I think the last time when I visit here, there was no this ocean display. <laughs> the fish is gone. And here he comes. So it should be in the second floor. There are elevators, however, those elevators only going to the fifth floor. It's kind of complicated. Well, I think I'd better ask. Oh, I found it. 
six, seven, thirty, thirty, first floor. This way. I think there is a special elevator over there. Let's keep walking. Oh my goodness! Look at those apple pies. Smells really good. And those cake too. And that's Godiva chocolate shop, by the way. Godiva in Japanese, Godiva, Godiva. Oh, so now I remember whole restaurants on 30th and 31st floor transfer to the special elevator at the block 12 on 6th floor. So firstly, you have to go to the 6th floor to go into the 30th floor. So let's go to the 6th floor. Let's go. Well, it's a little bit complicated, but once you get in, it's simple. Just go to the sixth floor. Oh, by the way, hey guys, welcome back to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan, so to go. Please don't forget to check my Instagram and Twitter account. Let's keep walking, let's go. Oh my goodness, I'm not sure if the cam can shoot it, but it's a 3D Hello Kitty. Wow. <laughs> Hopefully. My cam can catch it though. Nice. Project mapping. And here we go. It's sixth floor. Well, for me, this is already high enough, but we're getting higher. So just turn right at the Chinese restaurants and the uh, elevator must be there. Hopefully. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Actually, I thought uh, the restaurant is in the Tokyo Sky Tree. However, it's right next to the Tokyo Sky Tree. Well, <laughs> it's still high and uh, has a great view. So, never mind. All right, <laughs> this way. All right, here we go. Wow, it's really high. Oh my goodness, look at the view. Well, if you are afraid of the high place, maybe this place is good enough for you. It's free entrance. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the restaurant. Let's go. So that's the restaurant. It's already 2.30, so shouldn't be many people. Hopefully we can have a good seat. By the way, those are the lunch menus they have. Today, I'm planning to order this yakiniku lunch, which is the most popular one. If you want to have an upper guy, there is a mixed lunch. Price is 3,900 Japanese yen. And this fancy lunch. I don't know how to call it. Price is 6,200 Japanese yen. It comes with drink. Let's go. This yakiniku restaurant called Jojoen one of the most popular and the famous yakiniku restaurant in Japan. To be honest, I've never visited here in the dinner time because the price becomes really expensive. However, lunchtime still price is reasonable. So usually I visit yakiniku restaurant in lunchtime. As you can see, it's located in 30th floor. So we can watch beautiful sceneries while we are eating. Cooking sound of yakiniku always makes me hungry. I wish I could provide the smell too. <laughs> yeah, that smells really good too. Itadakimasu. It was so tender, flavorful, perfect with rice. Mecha <laughs> oishi. This yakiniku lunch comes with kimchi. Kimchi was not that spicy, perfect with rice. Also comes with salad. Dressing was kind of salt. I'm not sure what kind of dressing it is. Whenever I eat meat, I try to eat veggies too, because it's healthier. <laughs> I know, the beer would be better match. But this place beer costs 900 Japanese yen. This lunch already costs 3000 Japanese yen, so beer? Later. Also, this seaweed soup. Yummy. The first time when I visited Tokyo Sky Tree, I didn't know that ticket cost 2700 Japanese yen, so I was surprised. And then I found out this restaurant. 
the yakiniku lunch was only 3,000 Japanese yen. So instead of entering Tokyo Sky Tree, I decided to come over here to eat. At that time, yakiniku was more attractive than scenery. Well, Tokyo Sky Tree is really beautiful place though. In Japan standard, 3,000 Japanese yen for lunch is not that cheap. However, if you are visiting here as a tourist, and if you haven't tried a yakiniku yet, definitely this place recommended. Psycho. It comes with 8 slices of meat and also 2 pieces of shrimp. The quantity is not that much, so if you eat a lot and you wanna be full, probably you have to pay extra. I used to study in the States, lived in LA. When I was a student, I didn't have money, but I eat a lot. One of my favorite restaurants was Korean barbecue restaurant. Only you could choose four kinds of meat, but it was all you can eat. Well, meat quality was not that great, yeah. Not that good, but uh, price was only $7. Well, I was a poor college student, so definitely that Korean barbecue restaurant makes me really happy. Good memory. I am wondering if still the restaurant exists. It was in downtown LA. Well, I totally forgot the name of the restaurant, but if you know the restaurant, let me know in the comment section. Oh, by the way, needless to say, this shrimp was really good, especially with their yakiniku sauce. When you cook yakiniku, don't cook all the meat at once. Usually in Japan, we cook it one by one. That's the popular way to eat yakiniku. <laughs> yes, sounds like Japanese way, right? Respect for each slices. And that's why usually they have less quantity but expensive. Let me give you guys a small Japanese lesson. Yakiniku is composed by two words. The first one is yaku, yaku meaning cook. And then the second one is niku, niku meaning meat. First word changed the form a little bit and it becomes yakiniku, yakiniku. Also, this lunch includes the ice cream and the coffee too. Yes, that's a good deal. Can you see that tiny Ferris wheel? That's the Kasai Rinkai Koen in front of the Disneyland. So probably we can watch the fireworks in the night time. Well, night time will be more expensive though. If you visit this restaurant in the dinner time, it would cost over 10,000 Japanese yen easily. So if you want to save money, definitely you should visit lunchtime. If you love yakiniku, I have another favorite yakiniku restaurant in Ginza. I will introduce it in the future videos, so please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Arigato! Ooh, that was pretty good. Price is 3,000 Japanese yen. Thinking about the quality? Definitely, I recommend it. <laughs> anyway, let's explore this floor. What kind of other restaurant we have? So, seems like that's a Japanese restaurant? Sushi. And Italian listener. The price is starting from 2,200 Japanese yen. Not bad. And here, we have the next floor too. Let's see what kind of restaurant we have on top. Okay, so seems like that's an interesting hot pot. Mosunabe. Looks pretty good. So I guess this is a teppanyaki? Restaurants? Not sure. Oh, they have lunch. Steak lunch, 3,300 Japanese yen. Oh, maybe I should try this restaurant in the future. Steak. It's seafood Japanese restaurant. Crab course. 16,000 Japanese yen. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's expensive. <laughs> And what is this? Top of the tree. It's bar? Dessert cafe. Interesting. And what is this restaurant? It's uh, Italian. Hmm. Fancy. And here, we can watch beautiful view. I'm afraid of the heights, but as long as I don't look down, I can enjoy it. Mm. 
scary. I kind of have a weird line. Well, basically, I really afraid of the high place, but as long as the place I feel safe, I can still stand it as long as I don't look down. So the roller coaster, yes. High place building, yes. Uh, airplane, yes. But uh, Ferris wheel, no. <laughs> Does it make sense for you? Yeah. That's what I am afraid of. Anyway, so let's keep walking. Let's go. Oh. oh my goodness. You know what? This is the place where we were at the beginning. That's the board of the Tokyo Sky Tree. So if you want to go to that restaurant, you can just use this elevator. Well, yeah, this is the place right front of the station where I were. You can use that elevator and it's just going up. There we go. One second. <laughs> Now you guys know. Anyway, uh, let's keep walking. Let's go. It's almost 4.30. Now the street, more people. I'm at the center of the Tokyo Sky Tree place. Look at that tower, Tokyo Sky Tree. It's super high. I just took the photo for the Instagram. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Instagram account too. Oh, moving here. Oh, Moomin Cafe there! I didn't know. No wonder Moomin is here. And here it's Moomin Cafe. Hello, Moomin! <laughs> well, I think they'd better wash it. Yeah, I think so. Never mind. Since we are here, let me show you guys how to get to Asakusa from Tokyo Sky 3. Just keep straight this way. Definitely it's walking distance. I talked about it during the live stream, but finally I could sign the contract of the new apartment. I am so happy. Yes, yeah, so, so, so happy. It was really tough to find a place that uh, have space, bigger kitchen, because I want to make a cooking video too and also good price rent you know the tokyo's apartment all the places usually it's expensive also even you find a good place their background check and also the income status check are really strict in japan compared to other country you can't rent an apartment just placing the deposit so it was really tough, but finally, yes, I could. I think I could have one of the best options. Yeah, so I'm so excited to move in there. Uh, probably I can move in there mid of July, but uh, I'm not sure because I still have to find the internet company. Also, I have to make a contract with gas and waters, blah, blah, blah. So it takes time. Also, I'm thinking of going back to Osaka first. So probably you guys will see some Tokyo to Osaka video. I still haven't decided what kind of transportation I should use. But uh, if you have an idea, please let me know in the comment down below. Anyway, yes, finally. I am so excited. So, so, so excited. Yeah, finally. Oh, look at that. That's interesting. New family merch sign. Seems like ocean style. And you can turn left over here. Actually, there are other ways to go too, but uh, in the previous video, I already introduced. So today, we pick this way, by the way. Oh, interesting. Something artistic. Yeah. Anyway, this is the way. Let's keep walking. We are here right now. Tokyo Sky Tree is over here. And the Asakusa Station over here. The Sensoji Kaminari Mon is over here. So it's almost there. But let's keep walking. Let's go. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it's still June. Really hot. Feels like it's already July. I swear a lot. This year, I want to try the Mount Fuji because last year I couldn't. 
Uh, still, Mount Fuji hasn't opened yet, but when it opens, I will check that. Yeah, I want to make a video. And when you get to this Asakusa Dori, turn right, keep straight, then you will get to Asakusa. On the way, we can find a retro game center. Well, inside I couldn't find something interesting, but look at outside. This gachapon has the insect food. Wow. 1,000 Japanese yen for one time. Interesting. Definitely, I passed. Yeah, I passed. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, look at that. Balloon Town. I've never seen Balloon Town. It's rare in Japan. Interesting. And when you see that balloon shove, turn right and keep straight. Then Asakusa is almost there. Beforehand, we will find a golden poop. Excuse me, sorry, golden fall. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, can you see that tail? Uh, let me give you guys a closer look. Here we go. How do you guys think? Is it the form or poop? Never mind. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, when you see the Asahi company headquarter, Asakusa is almost there. Oh, <laughs> look at this picture. Uh, yeah, this picture more looks like a form. That one? Uh, maybe not. <laughs> I was talking to the random old lady and uh, yeah, she told me that uh, that golden form is a hope something uh, made by the French person. And uh, yeah, also she agreed that uh, it looks like a poop. Well, so I guess in any generation, that golden form looks like a golden poop, unfortunately. <laughs> I love Asahi Company though, never mind. After crossing this bridge, it's already Asakusa. It's already 5 p.m., but still sun hasn't set yet. If it's winter, already this place pretty dark. But in summer, usually sunset time is about 7 to 7.30, so I love it. And after crossing this street, Sensoji Temple is almost there. This is Asakusa Station, and that's Kaminarimon. Yep, if you have been to Asakusa, probably you've seen this place many times. This is the most popular place in Asakusa, so seems like so many people. Nice. Just got the beer. Let's drink Asahi in front of Asahi. All right, came back to in front of the Asahi headquarter. This place a bit noisy, but hopefully you guys can hear me. And I wanted to make Kantai Asahi in front of Asahi headquarter. Oh my goodness. Uh, have you guys tried this? It's a Asahi can and uh, this one you can drink like a mug but whenever I open it during the summer it's always spill out <laughs> this time as well I totally forgot <laughs> it was really interesting idea however whenever you want to drink this Asahi outside especially in a hot day you gotta be careful Definitely, yeah. You gotta be careful. <laughs> All right, maybe too late, but come by. Ah, psycho. <laughs> well, in that yakiniku restaurant, unfortunately, I couldn't talk. There are so many restaurants not really accept video shootings. So in Japan, there are so many places not allowed to make video filming. So yeah, you gotta be careful. There are so many beautiful places, but uh, it's tough to be a vlogger in Japan. <laughs> Can't buy for that. 
Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And the next week, I'm planning to going back to Osaka, and uh, maybe two or three weeks from now, I will come back to Tokyo, and I can move into the new apartment. Yes, the new life will begin. I'm so excited, and of course, I will vlog about it. So don't be shy. If you haven't, don't forget to subscribe so that you can find this channel much easier in the future. Well, especially if you're thinking of coming to Japan, definitely subscribe. Anyway, big thank you to all of the Patreons because of you guys' support, I can keep filming. So if you haven't, please check my Patreon account. Alright, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. So see you in the next video. See you go. <laughs> Have a great day. <laughs> oh my goodness, this place really shiny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I picked the wrong place. But uh, <laughs> beautiful spot though.